Remember when we used to have crazy hair day at school growing up? Today's crazy hair day in my adult life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Now, this might be a little bit controversial, but today I am going to be sharing my favorite eye creams with you. Okay, not like actually controversial, obviously, but a few years ago, we went through what I like to call eye cream hate gate. Everybody was hating on eye cream, saying that they weren't necessary, that they were a waste of money. And if an influencer happened to recommend an eye cream, oh, it was on. So before we can even dive into this video, I feel like I cannot move forward without at least addressing eye cream hate gate because I of course obviously agree with the sentiment that you do not need a separate eye cream instead of your facial moisturizers to moisturize around your eyes. You just don't, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. I personally love eye cream and not because I think it's going to delete the fine lines around my eyes because no eye cream is going to do that, but because I just love how they make my eye area look and feel. It's a fun skincare experience, is it not? So if you're not into eye cream, I completely understand, but if you happen to be like me and you love to use an eye cream to smooth around the eyes, to intensely moisturize, to add glow, and just to enjoy the experience of applying skincare a little bit more, then you get me and you've come to the right video because I am going to be sharing five eye creams that I have been absolutely obsessed with recently. We will talk through ingredients. I'll show you the texture up close. I'll discuss how they feel, how I like to use them, all of that fun stuff. So sit back, get those eyes ready. Why did I just say that? And let's jump into it. We have the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I know I have talked about this product so many times. I actually debated on whether or not I should even include it in this video because I was like, oh my God, they get it. Not again, but I feel like I can't not talk about it when I'm talking about my favorite eye creams because even though it's actually technically the only product in this video that is not an actual eye cream, it's the only product that I use every single night as an eye cream without fail. So I have to. So again, this obviously is not technically an eye cream. It is an ointment that was specifically created to heal and protect cracked, chafed, or extremely dry skin. So to prevent my eyes from looking cracked, chafed, or extremely dry for as long as possible, I like to use this as a seal around my eye area to really lock in moisture. Ingredient highlights in this include occlusive ingredients like 46.5% petrolatum and dimethicone, which are really going to help to lock in that moisture and create that protective seal on top of ingredients that can help to replenish and calm and hydrate the skin like ceramides, cholesterol, hyaluronic acid, and panthenol. For those of you who have not tried this yet, I would describe the texture of it as a very, very thick balmy ointment. It is definitely the thickest product in this video by far, and I would never use it as a daytime eye cream because it really does give the fin, the fin, are we fish? It really does give the skin a bit of a shiny finish, so it's just too much for me during the day, but at night, this is like magic. So I will slug with this. I just don't slug on my entire face. I slug around my eye areas, kind of bring it down here all the way up to my brow bone area, and I will apply this on top of my facial moisturizer and any other eye cream that I may be using. So I often do really like to do a facial moisturizer, then one of the next few eye creams that I'll be sharing, and then this on top to lock it all in. If you have never tried this, oh my gosh, your life is going to be changed. I wake up with my eye area looking brand new. It's amazing. Next is the CauseRx Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. This is described as a non-heavy double functioning eye cream that is hydrating, fast absorbing, and visibly brightening to the eye area. This has tons of amazing ingredients in it, including 73% snail secretion filtrate, which is one of my all-time favorite skincare ingredients. I absolutely love snail mucin. I feel like it makes my skin look insanely glowy. It has so many beneficial properties for the skin. It's anti-inflammatory. It promotes wound healing, it protects and strengthens the skin barrier, it hydrates, it moisturizes, the list goes on. And then on top of the snail mucin, this has niacinamide, arginine, all of M1000, allantoin, panthenol, copper peptides, and regular peptides as well. The texture of this one is like an ultra lightweight lotion. It's not so lightweight that I would consider it to be a gel, but it's definitely the lightest weight option in this video. So if that is what you are after, this is going to be the one for you. And if you have ever tried the CauseRx Snail Cream and you're wondering how the texture of that compares to this, I would say that the cream is more of that gel consistency and also significantly slimier. 
this doesn't have that same just like straight up slimy feel when you're applying it. So if that is something that grosses you out and you've never been able to get behind that, I think that you would still enjoy this because yeah, I don't feel like I'm putting slime on my face when I'm putting this one on. So because this is so lightweight, I prefer to use this in the morning and I absolutely love it for that purpose. It feels so hydrating and refreshing. It wears nicely under makeup and it just gives my eye area such a beautiful glow without it being too heavy. Oh, so nice. Next up is the Peach and Lily Pure Peach Retinoic Eye Cream. This is described as a powerhouse formula containing potent yet incredibly gentle ingredients to brighten, firm, smooth, and hydrate. So this claims to have a retinoic complex, but it does not actually have retinoic acid or any of its derivatives. So no retinol, no retinaldehyde, nothing like that. Instead, what it has are some ingredients that have been claimed to be gentler alternatives to retinol, including including things like bakuchiol and rosehip oil. Even though I don't doubt that those ingredients are beneficial for the skin, I do doubt their efficacy compared to retinol. So just know that I'm not recommending this product for that reason. Not enough research has been done on those ingredients to prove claims like that. However, there are tons of other nice ingredients in this, including things like niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, peach extract, aloe, peptides, green tea, ceramides, ferulic acid, panthenol, mango seed butter, adenosine, and all of that 1000. So it may not be retinol, but there's a lot of good stuff going on here. I would also consider the texture of this to be a lightweight lotion, but I do think that it's just a tiny bit thicker than the COSRX eye cream. So COSRX is the lightest weight, closely followed by Peach and Lily, but again, I still do think this is a nice lightweight option, so if you're not looking for something thick and creamy, one of these two will be for you. So I also use this in the morning and love it for that purpose, but I will be honest, I feel like in terms of hydration and how refreshing it feels and the glow that I get under my eyes, it is very comparable to this COSRX eye cream, so you definitely do not need both of these. They serve a really similar purpose in my routine. I just happen to have both because part of my job is reviewing skincare products. So if you are looking for a lightweight option, you will love either of these. The only thing I would say is if your eye area is easily irritated, then the COSRX option may be a better fit for you because of that 73% snail secretion filtrate. That's just such a nice ingredient for irritation. So if that's your main concern with eye creams, check this one out first. Otherwise, I feel like you can't go wrong. Second to last is the Pyeongkang Yul Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Cream. Pyeongkang Yul describes this as a softening eye cream that will improve your moisture barrier and boost skin's youthful radiance. We love that. Standout ingredients in this include macadamia seed oil, niacinamide, shea butter, hyaluronic acid, black tea ferment, centella asiatica, ceramides, and peptides. So again, tons of ingredients here to help to soften, hydrate, replenish, and protect the skin. The texture of this one is kind of like a slightly, ever so slightly, balmy cream. I would definitely not consider it to be an actual balm in the way that the CeraVe healing ointment is, but it's like if a tiny bit of that was added to a cream, that's a Pyeongkang Yule eye cream in the most beautiful way. It feels so soft and velvety. I absolutely love it. And it really does help to just like smooth over lines. I know I obviously don't have intense lines around my eyes yet. I'm only 28, but still with the lines that I do have, I do feel like it just smooths over them really nicely and just makes the eye area look very, very conditioned, if you will. So this is something that I typically reach for at night, but I have also used it in the morning. Sometimes if I'm just sitting around in my apartment, which is most days, then I love throwing on a thicker eye cream because I don't wear makeup just day to day in my apartment unless I'm sitting down to film. So it doesn't matter how the product is going to mesh with makeup and I'm sure you get it. If I have the opportunity to load up my skin with really juicy, moisturizing, nourishing products, I'm gonna do that. Yes, I am. And another thing I've really been loving on days like that when I don't have plans in the outside world is to actually layer eye creams. I know that that's not necessary whatsoever, but I can't help myself. I have to just take it there sometimes. So a lot of the times I will apply one of these eye creams first because they are lighter weight. And I just love how hydrating and glowy they make my under eye look. And then I'll layer it with something like this. 
because I'm crazy. Otherwise, I do really enjoy using this at night. And again, I will apply this first and then layer it with my CeraVe healing ointment on top of that to really lock in the moisture. And last, but certainly not least, is something that I have loved since before I started my channel. It is the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. This is, well, it actually was recently reformulated to hydrate, smooth, brighten, refresh, and firm the skin. Ingredient highlights in this include cacao seed butter, niacinamide, caffeine, hyaluronic acid, amino acids, ceramides, and peptides. So hopefully now at this point, you can see that so many of these products have similar ingredients, if not a lot of the exact same ingredients. There are just slight variations, but they all have so many incredible ingredients. So it really is just a matter of what type of texture you're going for, because when it comes to the ingredients, I feel like you can't go wrong. This is definitely a cream versus a lotion, but I still would consider it to be a lighter weight cream. It's like a really soft, cushy, pillowy, plush, lightweight cream. And I love it so much. Similar to Pyongyang Yule, this is something that you could definitely wear during the day if you want a thicker eye cream because neither of these options are going to look or feel really shiny and greasy in the way that the CeraVe healing ointment does. So you could definitely do that if you would like to, but I typically just reach for this at night. I load it around my eyes and then lock her up with CeraVe. All right, those are all of the eye creams that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And for those of you that are eye cream lovers, like myself, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have tried any of these before, what your thoughts are. If you are interested in testing any of these out after watching this video, let me know which ones. And as always, I will have them all listed and linked in my description box below in order of mention. Of course, again, it's not necessary. This is just for fun, for those that are really, really obsessed with skincare like me. And if there are any other eye creams that you swear by that I have not tried before or haven't mentioned on my channel, let me know in the comments below because I'm gonna have to. And you know the drill from here. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Y'all don't even know. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days. Ooh.